Hello everyone, Johnny Struggles here. We got the last starship. We are on Alpha 9C still. So going to try something different tonight. I created a new a new factory ship to start off with. So if you do Stargate Project and I uh, edited the game a little bit. Again game, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Hold down the left mouse button, you skip to this. I created a new starting ship. Look at this guy. It was kind of a pain getting these uh, when you destructed items in, in place, but I got it worked the hard way. Skip the tutorial, that works. So, I'm testing out if this station works. It's smaller than the normal one you start with. There's not as much floor space. Um, these are out here for docking ports. I had this section out here sitting out just as far as these, but I felt it was too far to walk back and forth to the main part of the station, so I truncated that a bit, made it shorter, make it quicker for the crew to come in and out, and as this is a starting point. And then you got some scaffolding out here for whatever you want to put out there. So one thing would be the tutorial. It technically does work with this different station layout. It just it points to sections that don't exist. Like it tells you to build in a section that's half or mostly off into space. Um, but you don't need to build the components in the section for the tutorial to continue, but if you're new and you use a station using that tutorial, it's not going to look very great. You know, that's the only caveat to this. Now this would be more for if you've already played the other station and know what you're doing, that would make more sense. So I'll probably send this to the devs just for them to check out, and if they want to use it, they're welcome to. It would be neat. So anyway... And what do we have? So we brought some equipment on board with our stuff. We're going to install reactor, smelter, da da da. I want to install the reactor in here. Let's go ahead and put our reactor right there. Let's see, let's go to schematics. So we can see a bit. The walls always block the view a little bit. So we have some storage here being blocked. Oxygen loader and air duct to get the oxygen in the atmosphere. Fuel loader. We'll need that for the reactor. We'll put that here. For now. Okay. And we'll go ahead and say dismantle this stuff over here. The battery room. I'll keep everyone busy for a minute. Okay, so oxygen loader. Let's put that up here on the right. We can use this area. Hmm. That there, and we'll put our air duct over here back next to the ladder. So on this thing, there's a ladder here and a ladder here to get up to the habitation deck, which is like that. By default, holds 50 people. Conveniently holds 50 people. <laughs> Don't know if it's really convenient or not, but that's what it's set to, or what I got it up to. All right, so some, somebody loads a fuel canister on here. We'll get some things happening. And then we need the smelter fabricator assembly table. So should we use up the space here? Like a little row or side to side? I don't know. Let's do it backwards. Do the assembly table last. I'll rotate that around for the crew. He's going to sit over to the right of the door. Fabricator will put one square off. I don't know where I put the... PowerPoint on that guy. Top right, okay. So we'll one square, line it up to top right, and then the smelter will do the same. Top square, okay. Let me just run the cable straight across. We have power. We have crew, we have smeltage here, going to be installed. We have more stuff we can dismantle for scrap to smelt. And of course, the first thing we need to make is Stargate frames to sell. So that's going to give us our starting money. So right click on that guy, we need to go to scrap metal, make a frame, and make a stargate frame. Alright, we'll put it fast forward so we can get some action happening quick. Actually, we'll pause this. Go trade. I want to buy, do we have short robotic arms here? Yeah, we, have, we want two of those. Well, I want two of those. And medium tank. I'll start with that. 
not necessary, but we'll get it anyway. We'll put robotic arms between these guys to push things over to make that part quicker so we're not reliant on the crew to do the movements there. We'll go a little quicker. Put them right on the existing power line. There we go. So that saves our crew from moving things around. How is our atmosphere looking? We're almost solid green. So these guys, yep, stripping out. And the suitage off. Alright. And then let's install our fuel tank back here. There we go. And we got room for another reactor right here. Very nice. Although what I want to do is to save on fuels, put panels on these sections of ship here. On the scaffolding. Why did I forget the name? <laughs> on the sections of scaffolding here, I want to put some solar panels to reduce our dependence on fuel on just powering the ship. Oh yeah, food and water. That's kind of important. People are hungry and thirsty. Go figure. So let's buy another bottle of fuel just to have... Uh, how much money do we have? 16k? We have plenty. Five food, five water, and let's buy as much scrap metal as we can get because it's cheap. We'll buy a metal ingot. We'll not buy that. We'll buy tilium or metallic minerals. Copper minerals. I'm going to sell. Do we have any frames we can sell? Eight. It's alright. We're making a profit already. And then while we're waiting on things, let's go to dismantle. We'll just say dismantle the rest of the stuff here. Get some ruined loaders, whatever these are. I can't remember. And then whatever bits of machinery these were. So the original starting ship the starting base JMC mining station has more destroyed equipment. So this has less equipment, less space. So technically it could be considered a harder start. So I'm kind of saying if it's that difficult, I've played this enough, it's probably going to be okay for me. But it's going to be more difficult because I have a confined space of so technically you could dismantle this and remove the walls and give yourself more room. Not technically. You could actually do that. I'm just kind of messing around see how it works. So we're dismantling these things. We're getting more scrap. Plenty to use. So on our star system, while that's going on, we got a bunch of stuff out here. Well, he starts with a asteroid belt. I want to get... We don't have any ships to buy. How about that? Typically, they're, oh, there, they're there. The industrious is always here at the beginning, and it is the best bang for your buck ship. The other ones are questionable, whatever you get. You get the industrious and the, you know, the little box. So this one's 110k. For 200k, you get two engines, two docking ports, a reactor, medium, medium tank, an FTL drive. Right alone, the FTL drive is like 100k plus, 140k, something like that. So this is an awesome thing. This is basically, they're gearing up to buy this ship because it's the best thing you can buy. And then I randomly have a Radaran gunship hull and a Tukovian destroyer hull. So 1.7 million just for the hull, that's, that's insane. That's an expensive hull. I can pay 200k for a fully functional ship. So we're going to save money. We have enough money to buy this already, but we're going to save a little bit more money. And that'll be our mining rig. So trade. Let's sell some more frames. Which gives us 150k and our resources can we buy more scrap, tilium, tug minerals, copper minerals. And I want to go ahead and buy a full set of industry machines. Can I do that now? Yeah, I think we have enough money. So we're running out of scrap here. Oh, we still have a decent amount, actually. We had time. I want to set up another smelter. This one's right now doing scrap metal, and I want to do another one for metallic minerals. So we can do both at the same time. Doesn't really matter. We can just change this one to say metallic minerals, but then we go through it quicker. So let's go ahead and buy the industrious now. 100k. A ching is half our money. I pause it. So we want to trade crew. We want to get five crew, five suits. We want some fuel. Five fuel. See if we can not spend all our money. Logistics. We want drone base. How much are they? 80k a piece. Ugh, that's going to be a little expensive for right now. Let's get the basic stuff up. Industry. We really don't need mining lasers. All that stuff sitting out there from being mined from other ships, they don't really collect. 
Do one drone bay and drones. And that works for 10k left in the room, so I need food and water. Uh -huh. Let's skimp on the food and water. Okay, confirm. Okay, so I mean we already have a reactor, we have a medium tank, fuel loader, small tank for oxygen. Oh, we should have bought an oxygen bottle. Let's buy we have the money for it. Is oxygen too expensive? It is too expensive. Cannot afford. Let's jump back to our struggle station here. Yeah, I forgot. I call the struggle station. I will probably think of a better name. I don't know. But, you know, why not? So, here we got some money sitting there. Cha-ching. Do that. Go back to the industrious and buy us some oxygen. Uh, pause it. Uh, resources. Buy two bottles. We can afford it. I uh, don't know why I'm going there. We're going to go to install drone bay. Let's put him up here. And the cable up here. Put the storage. I like to put the drone storage right next to the drone bays. Plan to have a second drone bay there. And I'll put a lot of any cargo right here. So when they just offload stuff, they go right here real quick. Looks like this ship can use them up here. They have the uh, scaffolding on the outside here instead of hull. You can't actually design a ship this way easily. You can do it, but by default it doesn't let you do it. Well, you can still do it. You can just delete the hull and add stuff there. But anywho, alright. We have 99k left. Can we get another drone bay here, please? Here we need a battery as well. The second drone bay is going to stop any bottlenecks. And do we have any drones? New drones? One more? Cool. While they're doing that, we're going to go ahead and drive to where we have the ore. Start getting some metallic minerals. Do they happen to be mining that? Precious ore. We can do that. It gives us an extra change. What's here? We got copper and metallic. I don't have any mining lasers, so I can't zap stuff yet. So let's just go to the the precious ore. I'm gonna fly over here and start collecting it. Uh, orders we are gather salvage, gather, gather materials, so we're good to go there. Install the drone bay. Don't forget to do that. So they are launching drones to then collect material, and we'll go back to our JMC mining station. Or sorry, <laughs> I can't excuse struggle station. We'll go back here and check things out. We can sell a few more things to make a couple more bucks. There we go. The main thing I want to do, there's another 180k. If I go to Stargate, I want to make sure I don't break 100. I want to stay under 100 because when I get Stargate frame to just under 100, there's a little cheat you can do is um, before you sell 100 items, if you can stockpile these up as much as you can, then sell it all at once, you go way over 100 and you get the full price for it. Let's say you sell it and you sell, you know, to 102 or 105 frames. After that, the price drops and it won't give you the full price that you were getting before. So before you get over 100, a little cheat you can do is just stockpile Stargate frames and then dump a bunch of them off and make a million space bucks. And that goes with any item. Any item, when it's required, it goes for more money. And once you hit the limit, once you've supplied them with what they're requesting, then they don't, the cost goes down. It's not worth doing anymore. So... A little cheat you can do is just stockpile it and then dump a bunch of it off. Okay. And we'll probably just mess around with phase one here. And not really get into the rest. I'm really hopeful and Alpha what's Alpha 10 coming up next that they add more phases to this. They may not complete it, but if they added another phase 7, 8 would be nice. I'm really looking forward to if they uh, complete the... They have everything in place to complete the story for the... Uh, the anomaly, the what do you call the expanding black hole? So it would be really cool to see that as a full or full start to completion, where you can complete it and and, and you know, win the game basically, end the story. That would be nice. Have everything in place with Alpha Nine to do it. It's a matter of figuring out all the you know the minor details of the storyline. But uh, I think a lot of us have been playing this for all. Been looking forward to that actually having an ending. 
It would be nice. Okay, so we got some money there. Let's go back to Industrious. What we got going on? We have a lot of precious ore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a smelter here on this guy to process the precious ore. I don't need to send this back to the our station to be processed there. I can just have this guy do it and sell it directly. So we're going to trade and buy smelter here. That's all we need. We just need a smelter. We don't need uh, we don't need all the manufacturing behind it. Buy with two more drones. And then mining lasers. We don't have any mining lasers here? What kind of crap is that, man? That's a bummer. Huh. I guess we are going to have to get some uh, FTL action going on. Jump to another place and buy mining laser and come back. We want to buy a battery. I have to buy two or three. How much money we got? Plenty. To cover the cost. Once we have mining lasers, these are going to zap our power. We'll need probably another reactor. Or two or three. Um, and solar panels. Let's put that on our main base, too. No drones. Alright, confirm. Do it. Oh, yeah, I already, I already purchased all the drones. Silly. CO2. We're building up some CO2. Probably the same thing on Struggle Station. Yes, yeah, so we need to build that mechanism out. At least scrubbers. Our smelter up here, because that's where everything is. And battery will put over here with this stuff, because why not? Precious ore. Precious ore. So we got power for it. Alright, industrious is low oxygen. What we got atmosphere wise? That's probably fine, but we don't have any resupply. We're not processing CO2 and oxygen, so that's their issue here. Let's get that. Money spent on that. We have 300, what does it say, 65k? We can do it. Air duct, scrubbage. We're not worried about waste treatment right now. Air reprocessor. And we'll do, we already have an oxygen loader and an air duct. Yes, yeah, so we don't need that. Then we just need these two. And then a tank. Expansion tank. Confirm. That was already expansion tank there. Oh well. Not gonna hurt anything. Medium tank there, alright. Pause it real quick. Let's install a scrubbage. And we'll do it back here. With the reprocessor behind it as well. Yeah, auction lined up. Okay, that's good. Oh, I have more batteries. What am I thinking? There we go. And some pipage. O2 to O2, oxygen, oxygen. Medium tank. Let's go ahead and pop the medium tank back here. I'll put it off the side here. Nothing wrong with even excess oxygen storage. What I might do is let's do this. Let's dismantle the small tank. I don't want it there. There we go. We lose that oxygen in there, but that's okay. Alright, so we're doing, got some scrubbage action going, CO2's dropping like a rock, we're good to go here. Oh, it wasn't going, oh yeah, it's O2 production, yeah, we're, oh, auction is going up. Alright, scrubble station. Let's do the same thing here, we will build that out over this section of this wing. Okay, we'll buy the same things. CO2 scrubbage. Uh, air reprocessors around here somewhere. Passed it already, didn't I? Where is it at? What? 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 Wasn't there more than one just a minute ago? I swear there was. Maybe I'm... Um, maybe not. Okay, well, worst case is we can get a scrubber, we can dump it into a tank for now. We can do a small tank. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Let's see, how do I want to do this? And we'll just do it like this. Just get the CO2 out of the air. And just pipe it into a tank. 
There we go. Bye bye CO2. For now, and then we'll plop a reprocessor in over here, way over here, something like that. And, you know, circle of life. So let's look at solar panels real quick. Energy. By four for this guy. We're barely using any power. Two panels will cover us right now for our energy. Let's see. Let's line this up over here. Oh, that worked out. Did not plan that. It just worked. Okay, so that should put our yeah reactor basically on idle. Okay, trade. We want to buy more resources. What can we get for ore? Metallic minerals. Some copper. And scrap. And then what? I'm going to buy that. And that. Because they're cheap. Uh, food and water plenty. And so. 21 Stargate frames. Where are we at in Stargate? 54. So 21 opposed to 75. That's fine. Give us some money. 36,000 space bucks. So that'll put us at 500k. Industrious. Alright, let's slow down here. What do we got here? We got a ton of precious ore. We need mining lasers. We need to mine actual metallic minerals. Do we have any mining lasers yet? No! So we need to jump somewhere. Alright. Let's buy five of those. Confirm. And let's go ahead and sell our precious ore we got. So there's 11 there. 264k. Not bad. Not bad. That puts us up to 823. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to construction our shipyard here. And we're going to buy a ship. So I have a design for a mini fuel station. We're going to have that built and drag it to wherever there's fuel in the system. So 570k. That's a cool thing. So I designed this, this fuel station. It gets built. It's autonomous. They even printed out the poor guy in the spacesuit that has to work here. Because we can't offload fuel automatically. And this will get us our fuel and we can change it to make our space goop for the Stargate, our Stargate resin. So, cool, we got it. Industrious, let's get out of our mining operations here. Let's find where our new ship is printed. If it has no propulsion, we need to drag it to where we want to go. There we go. There's all this mess here. That's copper. These ships just, like, mine all this mineral and don't pick near any of it up. Cleared half of that. That's the metallic mineral here. Yeah, there it is. So I could put engines and stuff on the station, but I don't like doing that. I just feels, I mean, if it's a station, it shouldn't be running around like a ship. But that's just me. My opinion doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Do I not have thrusters on this thing? I never pay attention to that. Do I not? I do not have thrusters on this thing. That's going to make things difficult. So apparently, I need to buy thrusters. Hey, look, there's four of them there. That's great. What a queen getting. How much fuel do I have here? 3,000. Let's buy plenty of fuel. Yep. Okay. Oh, should I pause it? Can we get more, more to sell while the, while the ship's docked? Might as well try selling and give them some more equipment. Okay, some thrustage. Ooh, we can put them inside here, too. There we go. Not take up any space. Usable space. No, well, I gotta slow down the game speed. Alright. Usually before, it would... If you were on fast forward, so 4x, you couldn't do the thrusters. The thrusters would... Huh. So before, when you had it on fast forward, and you turn the thrusters on, it would auto go back to normal speed. Now it just kind of like it doesn't work. Like you, I was pressing the thrusters to rotate, and nothing really was happening. It was like going inch, inch by inch, very snail speed slow. I thought something was wrong. 
So back to the old issue. Okay, so can... Do I still have the lead on this? That's the biggest issue with this as well. I don't, because I don't have the control. So i got to go to the mini fuel station and say go forward. Like, why do you have to do this? Why? Map. Okay, we have hostiles there. We can go here. There's a fuel cloud here. Nebula cloud to grab a fuel. What is that? That's just the background. That's called two bathers and a shipyard and stuff here. It's hard to say. There's a comet and a shipyard there. That's interesting. All right, so in here we got that. So prepare jump. I like this. Having the prepare jump on the map menu is very nice. And pause. All right, we're rotating. Okay, is that not? So FTL. I'm getting an error with it. Is this not letting me jump with the with my companion? Got everybody here. This is a change. Or a bug or something. Oh, is it because I have many fuel station, that's why. So I gotta go industrious. FTL. He's not the lead ship. That's the problem. Why is a mini fuel station the lead ship? Attach all. No, is it not loaded? I mean, it's there. Oh, okay, so now... Why was that hiding before? Like, the stay jump thing wasn't there, right? I have to review the tape on that. Alright, let's go back to dock. Might be a little bit of a bug there. Could just be me. It's been known to happen. It's either the game or a pebcat issue. Alright, so no FTL found, but now I can see boom, boom, and we go. Oh, a little yank ejection here. Alright, so we're collecting what? How much are we collecting? 7.1 per second. What does it look like? The So we look like we cluster there, there, and there. This looks thick, so we need to go over here. Okay. And if we jump, zoom back in. Not jump, but zoom back in. It's hard to tell because the layer of clouds exists between the ship and your view, so it kind of shifts around a little bit. And we should have brought this guy food and water. Oh yeah, he comes with food and water. So he's, he'll be set for a while. This image here looks pretty cool with a little waving looks. 9.1.2 per second. I think the max setting is, is 10 per second plus. If it hits 10 per, se 10 per second, that's the maximum it can process. As the setup is doing right now. If I remember correctly. So he's going to produce fuel. The fuel is going to come to these loaders and get unloaded. Yeah, unload fuel. He's going to stack fuel here. And all the power comes from the panels. So he's not consuming any fuel. He's got a Oxygen loader and a spacesuit pod so we can refill his spacesuit and food and water here. But we have to bring food and water to him. If we had a, instead of a docking port, like a different port to load fuel on, we can just, this thing could be totally autonomous. We can just link up to it and suck fuel out of it and go. Okay, so we're up to 13.3 per second. That's good. So let's detach. And we'll just jump back to this guy when we need to to get fuel. So right now, if we went to this, huge tank is empty, right click, we do mixed target resin, so just refined metrion equals resin. So if we did that, well, I should have probably did this before we came here. Is that going to jam up because of fuel in the line? Like this is not going to build up anymore. I should only have one loader, really. This is all getting blocked up because this has no place to go. Let's do this. Let's do... What happens if you click stop? Nothing, alright. Uh, let's uninstall him. Okay, please remove that. And we'll go to the pipes. We'll remove all these pipes because they're already saying fuel. Okay, now fuel's gone. It's the resin. We won't even connect it to the tank. Go down to right here, and we'll reinstall the loader there. It says fuel loader though. Is that right? 
I screw that up? Do I need to have it be a regular loader? Did I mess up my design? I did. Hmm. He needs a normal loader. Action. Why did I do that to save a few space bucks? Darn it, Mr. Struggles. We have no place to buy it. Alright. We're going to do this. We're going to pipe this stuff into the tank for now. Because I want Stargate resin. We don't need to have it in a bottle yet. So that's fine. We have fuel. Two partial fuel canisters. We're good. Oh, this tank says fuel on it. Son of a... Dismantle. Fast forward dismantle. Alright. Huge tank. Okay, so he's in... Okay, we don't even need a tank. He's gonna just undo that. Alright, we're all good. We don't, we don't even need all this mess here. He just makes a target resin. resin. I'm overthinking the things. I haven't done this in a while, apparently. So he's going to make Stargate resin, doesn't come in a pipe. He just come in a bottle and drop it off. We're good. We are good. So, yeah. He can hang out. Industrious. We're going to head home. We're actually going to jump to another colony. We'll jump over here. See if they have any mining lasers. Buy them. Probably get a bottle of O2 because we're... We have an issue. Okay, ready? Jump. Okay, good. We're flying by ourselves. Okay, pause in the game. Trade. Industry. Mining laser. We'll buy both of those guys. Uh, should we buy another drone bay? Maybe not at this point. We will buy all the scrap we can get though, while we're here. Because why not? And buy all those guys. Okay, resources. I want to buy another oxygen bottle. Just to have it. Uh, water is good. Food. Eh. While we're here. And we will sell this precious metal. It look profit. Very nice. And we'll go to map, we're going to jump back to here, and we're done. Good job. Let's check out the Industrious, this is a, or struggle station as the Industrious is refitting. So we're just idling here, aren't we? Because we have nothing, nothing! Get those subscribed, didn't we? Yeah, we can be processing tilium and copper into ingots as well. By two smelters. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Two of those, two of those. All that. Firm. And again, we have 75. Yeah, okay, so what do we have to sell? 14. So that still works. We would be at 89. I'm going to sell all that. And then, last thing, we're going to buy whatever resources we can get from here. Yep, and be good with that. Water. Food is a 360, so we need some food. Buy a stack of five. Fuel is a 3,000, which should be good. We have these solar panels, so we should be good there. Yeah, I'll we'll call that good. Okay, let's go to schematic view. Hmm. I'll do it like this. Yep. An assembly table. the guy to the right here. There we go. And we lined up right here. Okay, so smelter, fabricator, 
assembly table. This time I want the... Where's the guy? To the left. So I guess the power would be on the bottom. Eh, oh well. For a robotic arm. Should have had all these aligned at the bottom. Oh well. Does not matter. Okay, so this one's scrap metal. We'll do this one as metallic mineral. And this one we will do as, what, tillium probably? We do tillium. We have copper and tillium that we need to process. And you can see right here, we're, we're using over the panel. So. Alright. How's our CO2 looking? We have 671. Do we have... An airy processor. We do not. Let's go to our industrious. Who's in another place? Trade. Do you have an airy processor? You do. Thank you. Let's go ahead and buy this waste treatment stuff over here. With this system, just in case. Mm -hmm. And switch pipe. So that would set up this to this ship. But let's go back to struggle station. Can we buy it here? Pipe, waste treatment, purifier, no oxygen make it happen there. And fresh out. So we need another oxygen maker. An ice grinder here though. Confirm that. Let's go back to the industrious. Trade. And they have an extra oxygen make it happen or no, they just had the one. Son of a son of a bee. Okay, unpause. We got all this supply here. Let's jump to one more place. Let's jump there, see if we can find an oxygen, make it happener. And make it happener. 3 of TL. Okay, two charges. Trade. There we go, that's what we came here for. And at this point we want to buy some more FTL charges. A stack of five. Food's good. Fuel's good. Water's good. O2 is good. And cabin's good. So now since we're trading, we can get rid of them. We install the mining lizards. We can sell precious metals. Five? Hey, make some profit. Let's get it. Do they have another drone bay? We can buy a drone bay. We have that. A little bit of money for that. Logistics. Uh, industry is a logistics as well. Yeah, it is. 81k. So the price is slightly higher here. That was 80k at the other system. I should have bought a scoop to put on the front. Start grabbing hyperspa hyperspace isotopes. Maybe I should do that right now. Let's uh, cancel that. Buy that and a tank. So no medium tank. Small tank it is. Okay, all right, construction, everything's paused still. Mining laser, of course, we'll just put them on the front. Not of course, but we'll put it on the front. Away from everything, since they're far out there. So where's habitation deck in this thing? Wait here, okay, so we're gonna be doing that stuff in this room. And it makes sense, this stuff is already here too. Switch pipe. Ah, uh, schematic, I'll make it easier. Um, I'm not real concerned about the layout right now. I'll do it down here to make it a little more cleaner. I don't like the layout of this. Water purifier. Oxygen maker. I'll just tie that into the existing setup. Okay, yeah, so pipe sewage to the processor, wastewater to the water treatment, water to the oxygen maker, and then oxygen to the existing oxygen line. Circle of life. Circle of life is complete. Okay, and we will run our power line up to the front. Okay, back to fast forward. And then now we will jump home. After, you know, we actually get loaded up here.
You know what? We're gonna buy a few more crew. While this is going on. Uh, why not? Five more. Make it ten. Yeah, make this a little bit easier, because this is a bit of a walk. So there's some sewage going on here. 370 some. So we're gonna get some more oxygen out of that. Alright, FTO, jump. Good deal. Alright. Hey, we're now we're close to home. We need some more thrusters for this. This is uh, you know, kinda slow. I want to realign this. I don't like the alignment of this screen, the view. Tactical, tactical. So press T for tactical. Shortcut key. Okay, and Roger that, we're locked in. Go to logistics. We want to give the struggle station our auction maker and all our material here. Well, that doesn't need to transfer. We're just going to sell it direct. Yeah, we are good. So that needs to transfer. We have two docking ports, though. We can sell precious ore we have. For another 100k, almost. Still being processed. So now we have mining lasers. We have habitation going on. This ship is self-contained at this point. Next thing I want to buy is a dedicated combat vessel. Once we have the funds for it. Well, that's not the next thing I want to buy. But the next thing I want to spend money on for a ship would be a combat vessel to defend. I think I would spend money on putting this arm, making the station fully armored. I have kind of some spots in here you can place guns on easily enough. You can be like Gatling guns or whatever you want. Might do that. Might not. Here we got things going. Let's see what we can do here. Or trade to sell. Tillium crystals. Eh, 2k, not much. 10 Stargate frames. What do we got on there? To 89. So I can sell all 10. And be one short of hitting that what I need before the price drops. Oh, I should probably just this whole thing. Make frame. Make circuit frame. Yep, so metallic minerals, frame, circuit frame. So now we're just gonna pump up pump it out. Schematic. Install. We should have that item now. Yep. Okay, switch pipe. The habitation block goes out to here as well. Yep, right in here. So I can put a pipe in here in the middle. Right down the middle. Hmm. A pipe would need to go around here, actually, or right in the middle of this room. On this wall. Well, let me stall it on the diagonal? Really? Will it do that? Because that's in a proper place to be pulled. Let's speed this up. Is he going to do it? Probably not. I think we need more crew on this one. We're transferring material here. I don't have another docking port here. We're so I need to buy another docking port for our station here. Uh, I don't know where that would be. It would be under all components. I want a docking port. They installed it! Holy crap! I'm surprised. Color me surprised. And we've offloaded everything we need to offload. Let's undock. And we want to go to where there's metallic minerals. Oh, are these guys collecting? What's going on here? Who are you? Whose drones are you? 
just hanging out. Did your ship leave? I bet that's a bug. Your ship probably powered down and left you there. All right, industrious. How industrious can you be? Metallic minerals. This is what we want. Can you do that, please? Scribble station. Let's install our other docking port. And get our waste treatment set up over here. Battery low on the industrious. Yeah, he needs power probably. Uh, let's get the rest of the stuff installed real quick. So we have our pipe here, which is blocked immediately. Let's put this here. They can move the crap out of the way. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, water purifier would be a roundabout way of doing things. Yeah, like a 2x2 two two space. That would have been better up here, maybe. Eh, it does not matter. Put these anywhere, really. Put that right there. And the oxygen maker there. I'll just pipe things around. Just unpause. Okay, M to there. I'll just run the oxygen on the wall. Now we'll run it over around the out this way, around the outside. No singing, please. And we have powering issues here. We need a tank to absorb the overload here. We need a medium tank. And let's see, power, do we have more panels? We'll buy those panels. The other ship needs, and we don't have any batteries in here, do we? We'll buy two batteries. The other ship's gonna need some reactors. So we will replenish our battery room. No. Ugh, what I did? Why did I do that? Anything? Right click on that. Well, there we go. Unpause and pause. Since I had to pause, you can't do some stuff. I right click on it to uninstall it, but it doesn't take effect right away until you unpause the game. And I like to pause the game apparently a lot as I do things. One, two, three. Cabes and. A medium tank. And right there, he'll be in line, ready to go. And probably should plug in these batteries while we're at it. That'd be silly not to do that. Okay, industrious, how are you doing? You are, you are dead. You need more power. I'll just go through reactors. More batteries. Do have plenty? How much fuel do you have? Six thousand. We'll go ahead and buy five more cans. Uh, do you have any precious? So no, no precious. So this guy's basically not been doing anything because no power to do anything. Cannot afford. All right, hang on. Three seventy. I try to buy way more. Okay, cancel that. Cancel that. 30 and one battery okay never install that scoop and I jumped anyway typical struggles always doing stupid crap <laughs> and he installed that on the other ship I didn't transfer that over I gave the function make it happen and did not do the air reprocessor Classic, classic me, everyone. Reactor two, we'll just put them here, and they'll move all the storage out of the way. Here, we're just gonna do this. Cancel that. Make it look cleaner. Install some scoopage there. Small tank behind it, which should have been done already. But somebody wasn't paying attention. 
Nein, nein, nein. And then we'll transfer their reprocessor at a later date. Okay, here we go. So, where are these guys going? They're going over here too to get this precious ore. And some over here to the metallic one. So, the normal speed. Okay. Let's get, get away from that a little bit, maybe. These guys over here are dead in the water? What is that? The reactors are down. No engines, no, so they have no power. Batteries are drained. Our suits are running out of O2. This is the problem with kind of the game state. When things stay here too long, they run out of, ship runs out of power and basically dead in the water. I thought they were trying to put a fix into where these ships will resupply or jump out of the system so they don't clutter up the, the map with a bunch of dead ships. Uh, might still be a work in progress. Okay, so we are being very industrious here. Let's get a little closer. Just to give the drones a little less travel time. Point blank laser action there. So some smelting going on. And gives a little money. We want to get this metallic mineral back to our main place here. Which we don't have much of right now. We have 42 Stargate frames. That's quite a bit. I only need to give them one more. So I'll see what I'll show you. It still says 15k here. So I can sell them 43 to get 645 thousand space bucks. Once you complete the thing, this goes down to like a thousand bucks a pop or something like that. Something super cheap. I don't remember the exact amount. But we're not going to do that right now. We need to actually trade. Let's cancel that. Oh, click confirm. Resources. We want to buy some more material. Oh, there's 10. There's 11. That'll give us some more. And that just to have it for future needs. And we need, yeah, we're good with that. Back to industrious. We need to buy a loader for this guy to, to provide to that other guy. No, do we need one? No, he's just unloading the things. That's right. I was not crazy. He's just unloading the Stargate resin. Go check how he's doing right now. We have a bunch of Stargate resin. We need like 10. And we have a lot more than 10. So let's go ahead and make this fuel. He's a partial bottle. Will you take the partial bottle off? Yeah, and then he's going to go fuel and he's going to dump these. I don't need two of these. It just really needs to be one. Look how nice this is. No, we only need ten of these bottles. Seven, eight, nine, ten, as far as I'm aware. And we have a whole bunch more for extra profit. So let's do that. Let's take this guy. We want to go dock with our main place. Hey, how's everyone doing? Still loading supplies. See, we, we need more crew here. Why not have extra spacesuits, just in case? Yeah, we needed more crew here earlier. Let's speed the game back up. Okay, this guy is Dentillium. Let's go copper. And now we can start mining all the... Oh, the car. We are running out of storage space on here. Let's let's add some. This is playing for more batteries, I think. We'll put this in storage as well. Once we get rid of all these Stargate frames, we'll have a lot of room. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's go. We need a dock.
Probably need some more thrusters for this to make this a little easier. One good thing about the combat, usually the first combat ships you fight against are pretty small unarmored vessels. So if you, and they a lot of times just have Gatling guns. So if you're armored, they're not going to do any damage to you. It changes pretty quick. But, you know, something you can take advantage of, maybe. Alright, so we want to transfer all this stuff over here. I don't need that. And just that is all we got. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, we want to transfer that one more item. Don't forget that one item. This guy here. Definitely need that. A CO2 scrubber going to a tank and not being reprocessed. I'm going to show that reprocessor over here. Because why not? <laughs> Eventually, I could put a docking board here or guns or anything I want here. Or here, or here. This could all be guns. The way it's set up. I mean, this is easily redesigned to be a bunch of guns or whatever you would want, want it to be there. Mining lasers, drone bays, anything you like. So today it's going to be an area processor. It's going to be working overtime for a minute. The tank looking pretty decent. Habitation deck, we've drained the sewage from the habitation deck. Good deal. Tealum crystals. I think we are good. And disconnect. So let us jump to NG5. Fair jump. Yeah, the issue must be for the first jump. I think I entered a bug for that. So it's probably, it might be related. When the first time you jump, it gives an issue with this. And I think it's fixed in Alpha 10. If I remember correctly. Alright, so. Where is our fuel station? Way over here. Curious, is he still pulling in what he was pulling in before for the numbers? 13.4 per second. That's maybe gone up. I thought it was 13.3 before. Cool. So let's, we'll take his fuel and all this stargearism. Speed it up. Hey, look. Fellow industrious. Hello, fellow industrious. Hello. And he left. Oh, it might help if I actually have the right ship selected. Why are my thrusters not working? Why are the thrusters not thrusting? Break. Now the only bad, not the only bad part, but one of the bad parts of having only one guy here when you're trying to do the logistics, it, he's the only one to do moving things around. Logistics. We want many fuel stations selected. So how much? Start here is 65. Nice. Nice even number. And then fuel? Six. Alright. And we'll go back to the fuel station. I feel like we should transfer somebody over there. To help with this. Let's see the resin show up. Boop. It just appears and the guy's right there. Alright. Uh, logistics. Can we transfer a guy over there? I need to say suit as well or just a guy? Let's just select it here. Okay, I think they wore suits already. So let's, can we undo the suits real quick? No, they got them. Okay, they must be there wearing them. And speed it up. So it doesn't take quite as long. There we go. And then we'll just take this right back to the Stargate map to sell. Armored Beast showed up. Dude. Hello, Armored Beast. Here, forget. Hello. 
or defenseless little fuel station here. Unarmored, that would be advantageous to us to armor this thing. Alright, so with the logistics, we are transferring have transferred all the material. We need to go transfer our crew and suits back. So that just goes back automatically as they transfer over. Why is the number smaller? Wait a second. Okay, hang on. There we go. Now I'm getting a space suit back. Alright, cool. Poor guy. I messed that up a little bit. Alright, so detach. Go back to the Stargate. Oh, should have did it on the same screen. We got a full load here, so we can just sell this stuff directly. So let's do that first trade. Sell. I'll start your resin. Nice amount of profit. Let's do that. Oh wait, precious minerals. There we go. Even better. So we're transferring all that. We have nothing to transfer to our home base here. It was just getting that target resin offloaded. Since we needed 10. And it's delivering 65. That's nice. And so in the meantime, let's go ahead and go back to do some more mining of all these donuts here. Our ore donuts. Uh, precious minerals. Precious mineral. It was this down here, wasn't it? Yeah. Metallic. This is what we still need. I mean, we could end this right here, phase one right now. We're good. But we're going to continue. Okay, pause it as he jumped in. He'll turn around. What is that? Oh, the shuttle. I'm curious, what is that dot? Alright. How you doing, Struggle Station? You are still processing material. Trade. 89 Stargate frames. That's going to be a big chunk of money. Just cheese in the system here. Food, water, O2. Very good. Fuel, we'll buy two cans of fuel. Energy and a solar panel. For sure. Is that four megawatts? We're idle. <coughs> Excuse me, we're idling power. We don't have this guy powered. Oh my goodness. Okay. Process some CO2, please, please. I still can't believe you can put a pipe on an angled piece of wall. What a slick thing to do. What a slick thing to do. Precious ore. We have precious ore on here. No, I know what he's going to be doing in a minute. Or, yeah, he's going to start processing, so. When he's done with this copper, we're going to process some precious ore for money. When we turn in the Stargate frames, we're going to get a ton of money, then hopefully we have enough to buy a combat vessel, and we will be covered for the intro combat. And buy, one, buy one of my pre-made ships. And be happy about it. Oh, there's 10 resin right there. Dang. We missed one. But it's okay. He's got plenty of food and water. Just one guy. Okay, what's still going on here? Okay, so all this stuff is mined out. Uh, there we go. We point the ship this way. The drones can collect all this while he zaps more mine, more minerals out. That'll work. And yeah, I think I'm at a point. I just want to sell all this to get rid of it. One more panel. Get that in right there. There's 80 power there. 
station's working pretty good. I think it's a nice design. I like it. Not too big. As we get farther along, it might be a bit more cramped. But for right now, first section is definitely doable. The, have, <laughs> the life support stuff is a mess. I need to... If I continue this, I will redo this to make it more appealing to me. <laughs> I might cram it all into one wing here better than it is now. Of course, you can still go to the shipyard. You can edit this and change this because you have a shipyard here and make changes and pay the money for it. Like, how much would it cost to armor this thing? 421 That's expensive, Bob. Eventually, I'd want to do that. But not right now. All right. Um, how much do we have for Star Gear? 101. 15k a beast. Would that be what? Would that be 1.5 million? Yeah, it would be. Math is just is still good. All right, I think we're just gonna do it. We can make more, but you know, let's let's just stop. So let's uh stop. Stop. I think we need frames for other stuff. We're going to do that. We're going to make a big cell of these guys. 103, 1.5 million space bucks. We can keep going and going and going and just have a bunch of money. But, you know, we don't need to. Okay, ha 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 ha. Go fast. There's one completed. Oh, look. I see you. Bunch of things. And we got 2.3 million space bucks. <clears throat> also, if we go to Stargate. So phase two, we need just... Oh, 200 Stargate frames. I guess I can continue on that, apparently. Oh, it added what I had to the next stage. Hmm. Because we're doing... Oh, okay, I see, I see. If I didn't have the... If I didn't have this installed, I could have cheated and installed a bunch of that. But since we completed the mission with the one, it applied the rest to phase two. Or did it do the same thing with the resin now? I don't even know. Stargate phase two, phase three. But you can see it went over the amount you need here, and we still have the money for it. Copper ingots. We could probably trade that in as well. Yeah, the price is higher for it now instead of 2k. Okay, so I need to put this back to Stargate frame. I haven't played Stargate in a while. I forgot there's frames in the second second uh, part of it as well. Second phase. Phase two. So with all the all the resin we used supplied in phase one, now the rest of the 55 get applied here, which went over the limit. I still got the money for it. Copper ingots are going to get supplied. And half the frames. So we're still pretty good. And we get 2.5 million. Alright, so I'll pause it. So I'm going to the shipyard and buy ship. And we have 2.5 million to buy something with. So I'm going to look for green numbers, combat vessels that I've made, and see something that tickles my fancy. The thing is, I wish you could sort this. Like, if I knew the name of the ship I wanted, I wish I could just search it. Um, I have so many of these, like, half made ships, designs I've partially made, and Things that don't apply, or even just a filter to view only things I can afford would be nice. Would be nice. Uh, I mean, this one's a good ship. Catalina's is not bad. Give me all my money. This fuel bulk fuel bulk hauler is a big storage ship, but no weapons. So this one has guns on it, if I remember right. It's a fast combat vessel. I don't know how good of a combat vessel it is, though. Can't remember. Just at the beginning point, I don't have too much money. I could wait a bit and sell more Star frames and complete Phase 2, and then have enough money to buy a bigger combat vessel. Maybe that is what I'm going to do. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. We can continue on with the the process here. Slow it down. And do that. But I've been recording for a while now. 
if you've watched the whole time, hey, I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think if you like this design. I think I'm going to send this to the devs, see if they like it, if they want to use it or not. It's up to them. I think it'd be neat. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. All right? Bye.